of Sounding Board, and tonight we're going to look at Indian, another Adventures of Indiana Jones figure in the Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is a reproduction of the original figure. He's in the classic packaging, which you got back in the set in the 80s. He has the Kenner logo. He has fast draw action. And on the back of the package, you got... Indy, Toth, Mechanic, Balak, and Marion Raywood. Funny part is, Balak wasn't part of the original line. He was a mail away. And uh, I forget who was in the original line. Who was the fifth figure? Hmm. I should have looked that up. Because, like I said, Balak was a mail away. You had to buy so many figures, and then you got you sent them in and got a free Belloc figure, which was odd that he was only made in the uh, ceremonial rose, but never in the uh, archaeologist costume. Even though if you removed ropes from the figure, he's in the archaeologist costume underneath it, and they could have made both figures easily. So let's stop to open it up and take a look at this classic Indiana Jones figure. So we're back now. So let's see what the indie figure looks like out of package. So we got our pocket knife to cut the bubble off. And we'll start with that. Bubble cutting was a classic uh, action figure collector's thing to do at one time. It preserved a package because people wanted to figure out of it but they didn't want they wanted to figure out of it and at the time figures were a lot scarcer see and let's remove India out of the package he's got that instruction thingy which means it's garbage He's got his whip. He's got his revolver. all his joints and here's what he looks like from the front when he doesn't fall over the side the back the side and the front again I mean the back at the logo can he even stand not too good. His legs are too soft. But here's the Temple of Doom version who has... You, you see him side by side now. And he does have... Doesn't have a sleeve arm, but he does have... And I think this arm is from one of the characters from the... Um, Butch Cash and Sundance Kid line. But they both have, like I said, this. He has a fast draw holster, the hook whip, so he can hang his whip off of. And the gun goes in right here. Huh, the gun doesn't go in like it used to. To change on the holster that makes it. Yeah, the holster doesn't carry the gun anymore. That's 
that's really kind of sad because the old figure you used to put, be able to put the holster and the gun in there fine. They made the gun out of a softer plastic so it, he doesn't hold it as well. His whip is still a string with a handle that looks like it should be part of a uh, jump rope set. Which they made all this his hands he used to be able to hold this stuff well when I was a kid. Now I'm having problems putting it in. It won't stay. It won't pop in correctly. It's kind of sad. He can't hold his, his uh, gear anymore. And the Temple of Doom can't hold it neither. That's really kind of sad that the whip is now a prop. But he used to be able to hold the gun and he would fast draw it. So, because the hand's soft, he launches the gun now. So, he has item throwing whip, uh, gear uh, ability now, not uh, a real ability to hold anything. This indie version sucks. The original version, if you get, if you get, if you get the opportunity to find one cheap at a secondhand store or a, find one at a flea market, I'd pick that up. And the only reason this figure is good for is to get the gear off it, so you can get a replacement gun and whip. And he's on clearance, so getting replacement stuff for the vintage Indiana Jones is real tricky. So you can get one, get all the replacement parts, and then put those on the on the uh, classic. But overall, I'm quite disappointed with this figure. He's not. He doesn't live up to his expectations, and it makes me wonder if, like the the mechanic has something in his hand, and he also has the same type of gear of, of a, which is which he uses to beat up. He has a wrench attack if you'll be able to hold it. But until next time, with great disappointment, this is the sounding board signing off.